Hey, YouTube, how's it going? This is Josh with Odd Jobs. Uh, in the event that you don't know me, my name is Josh. I do a lot of the sales and marketing here at the company. And today, I'm going to be talking about specifically permits, HOAs, and a lot of the behind the scenes work that goes on before any of these beautiful projects that you see take place. So if you're watching this video, I really appreciate you taking time today. If you're on your couch, if you're driving, if you're sitting next to your spouse, significant other, we really appreciate you two or you, or you alone just taking a minute to educate yourself around permits and some need to knows for your outdoor living space and your outdoor projects. So stay tuned. This is going to be a lot of good information and I hope you guys learn a lot. If you did learn something, hey, give us a thumbs up, put a comment below and smash the subscribe button. We're going to be building this page out a lot this summer with some amazing projects and we're super excited about working with you. Thanks so much. All right, guys, let's start with the permits. So a lot of the builds that we do as odd jobs are going to be in the West Bloomfield, Bloomfield area, but also just generally in the Oakland County area. So a lot of the counties and the cities individually in Oakland County require permits for their builds, specifically Bloomfield and West Bloomfield. They are sticklers about having permits for your project. So in case you're wondering, hey, what is a permit? A permit is essentially just an opportunity for you to get a legal contract or a legal statement that you can actually do and construct building and or construction at someone's residential property. So they're super important because without that, that could be a halt to your project and the city in your county or the city in your city could potentially come shut you guys down and essentially put a, a major halt to your project without the correct credentials to be building on that site. So what is a permit? Again, a permit is a legal contract for you to legally be able to build at a site. Um, your next question, I've got some things written on the board that you can't see here are going to be, um, you know, what do you need permits for? And you know, why permits? So permits are essentially, again, they give you the ability to be able to build at someone's house, but they also typically just enforce the code that that city has in place. So West Bloomfield has specific guidelines for building, the same for Waterford, the same for Walled Lake, the same for Farmington, and the same for Southfield. So every county is different. You know, Rochester is much different than it would be in West Bloomfield. And each, some cities are very lenient around their permitting process and others are very difficult. So the most difficult, personally, in our past experience opinion, has been West Bloomfield. And some of the other cities are much, much easier to, you know, allow you to build and do additions to your home. So um, again, they keep you in in line with the code for the city, and it's also super important for the lots. You know, as a person looking to buy and or resell the home, there are certain aspects that have to be keeping keeping in you know in track for your build. So you know, how much impervious space do you have covered on the lot? Um, how much of that is actually grass? Where does the drainage go? Does it does it drain off of the property? It cannot go into the neighbor's property. Just a lot of things that people typically don't think about when it comes to just adding a patio or an outdoor living space in their backyard. So what do you need permits for? Nine times out of 10, you will need a permit for fences, for pools, for um, fire features. You may, may or may not need a permit, but you will have to pull a permit, your plumber will, for the actual gas line and that will have to be inspected. You also need that for certain patios and uh, driveways, of course. So these are a couple of things that typically we need permits for. And if any of those projects seem like something that you're planning to do at your home, you will likely need a permit as well. So the steps for the permitting process. Step one, you're gonna have to go to the, go to the city, in our case, West Bloomfield, We'll go to the city and actually get to meet the building department. They'll give us a building permit that we'll fill out. That will be on behalf of us as the contractors, as well as partially on behalf of the homeowners. So if you're curious, we will do all the permitting process for you. So the payments, the cost, the topographical surveys, the soil erosion, um, variances, if you need any zoning board of approvals for your project, all of that will be taken care of by us. As I tell all of the homeowners that I meet on a day-to-day -day basis, the only thing that you will be required to do as a homeowner with a project being built by our company will be to watch. You'll be required to watch, smile, and enjoy, and to make add-ons if you'd like to. 
So the process is going to be first, you're going to meet with the building department. Two, you're going to get your building permit. Once that's submitted, you're going to submit that, by the way, with two topographical surveys. So this isn't a full size. This is not a full size what it would typically be submitted in. But here's an example of a permit um, or a, a design a survey that we had done. And there's a couple of different things on here, just notes. This is an old copy before we submitted a, a real revision, but you can see that we have a lot of different information here as it relates to locations for swales. So that means, you know, guiding water off the site, ensuring that it's not on your neighbor's property, information, several pieces of information around the grade and the height of the grade and elevations, and lots of information around wall heights the size of actual spacing that's going to be taken up and how that reflects to your neighbor's property and to your property, how much of that property is actually taken up by non-grass-like material. So again, here's the design. Now we have lots of revisions on this copy. Um, information, this came from our, our engineer in Shelby Township. He's awesome. So just something that you guys could expect to see for your build. Um, a couple of things that you may want to know are, you know, some basic things. A lot of patios will need permitting um, if they're attached to the home, depending upon the size. And if you have a retaining wall, fences, of course, retaining walls need to be under four feet or they need to be actually looked at by the city and given an engineered plot plan. So just a couple of things to keep in mind as you're building. But um, that's going to be the process. You're going to go through each of those steps. And the first process typically takes about a week and a half to two weeks. So that's going to be the permitting process. Once the permitting process is done for the building permit, you're going to then have to get this soil and erosion. So again, this is all going to be on behalf of the homeowners. We're going to have to get their signature on all this paperwork, but we're going to be the ones submitting it. And that could take up to 10 days for the soil and erosion. And so once that's agreed upon and they give us the approval to do that, what we're going to do is going to take the protocols for soil and erosion. So that'll be a silt fence on site to ensure that there's no water or no site materials extending outside of the actual parameters of that lot or the parameters of where the project's actually going to be taking place. So um, these are just things that I have off the top of my head that relate to permits. Um, your HOA likely, depending upon if you have an HOA or not, will require you to have some type of a graph or some type of a, something similar to what I just showed you guys, some type of plan and or a lot of HOAs even allow us to submit our 2D and 3D designs. In case you don't know about those, we do create landscape designs. They start at 950 refundable towards the cost of your project. And we've got tons of videos showing our actual finished designs as well as showing projects that have gone from design to build. So just a quick note, but Essentially, you're going to be submitting something like this and or a 2D or 3D design to your HOA to give them a pretty good visual of what exactly you're building at your home. And a lot of times that will suffice and give you the green go from the actual neighborhood to conduct your build. So I probably let left out a lot of different things um, as it relates to permits and HOAs and the process that goes behind that. And that's totally okay. What I'd love for you to do if you've watched this video so far and there's a question that I have not answered, please comment that below. If you're on Facebook watching this, comment below. If you're on YouTube watching this, comment below. No matter where you're seeing this video at, if there's an aspect that I missed and I did not add into this video, please do contact or submit below a question or your concern and we'll respond with that answer. So this is our quick, short and dirty video about permitting HOA and the importance of that and what that process looks like if you're looking to do a new build in Oakland County, West Bloomfield, Bloomfield, Farmington, uh, Beverly Hills, Franklin, wherever you're looking to do a build at. So again, my name is Josh. If you're looking for a, a new outdoor living space, whether that's a paver patio, a fiberglass pool, a gunite pool, pavers, outdoor kitchens, pavilions with fans and beautiful cedar ceilings. If you're looking for anything like that to enhance the quality of your life this year, to enhance the value of your home before you sell it in the best market ever, now's the time. Give us a call today, 248-302-9175. I'm looking forward to working with you and I hope this video was super informative. Give us a like, smash the subscribe button and leave us a comment. Thanks so much.